TikTok is also dropping messages for this subscription game. Let's throw this up on the screen. Bam. Exploring new ways for creators to build their community and be rewarded with live subscription. Now, before I even get into this message, Ja'Cory, what has your, been your experience with the live subscription? Because didn't you turn yours on? Yeah, I turned it on, but I haven't got to go live. And usually I was waiting on my emotes to get done. You know what I'm saying? They just finished up. Over. <laughs> Tell them about that process. <laughs> so so in order to sign up for um, the, the new subscription feature, I mean, one, you, your profile has to get, I, I don't know if they have any like follower or like watch hour requirements for it yet. They, they weren't too clear on that. But in order to sign up for it, one thing they make you do is you have to create at least one emote for your profile. Um, so they make you name your subscriber badge. They make you upload at least one emote, recommended five, but at least one. Um, and then you have to set like what your subscribers rewards are for subscribing. So they give you like, I want to say like 12 different categories you can pick from. You have to pick at least four. So like, I think for mine, I picked like, they could go live with me. They could recommend topics. They could send me their music and it was something else, but you have to pick at least four of those things. So what's a little bit different with their um, subscription services, going back to the emo thing, they're making sure that you take it at least a little bit serious before you are even to even make it go live. Like it's not something you can just like click a button and then do it and start making money. It's like, nah, right. like, like I said, bro, I had to go pay somebody on Fiverr to make me <laughs> these emotes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, assuming, I'm guessing if you're someone that has graphic design skills and you can put it together yourself, you you essentially could do it for free, but they're forcing you to put a, a higher level of activity into it just to start using it, you know what I'm saying? Which is interesting. Yeah. That's, that's interesting because I mean, one, yeah, there's a higher barrier of entry, so I guess they want it to be of a certain level of quality. And have you seen the amount of payment? Yeah, it's per like subscriber. So each subscription, See. I think, is five dollars or four ninety nine, and okay. then the creator makes, and I could be wrong on it. I think it's two dollars and ten cents a subscriber, or or two dollars and forty cents a subscriber. One of those two. Okay, it's two dollars and something cents. So. Because the, the graph they, they uh, sent to my email when I signed up was like, you know, if you got like uh, 3,000 subscribers, you know what I'm saying, you're making like seven bands a month or a little, uh, almost seven bands a month. That was a, the graph they sent me. Got it. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, I've seen a couple of creators come up on my For You page that seem to have a good amount of subscribers already. I mean, they seem to, I mean, it's still pretty new. Like, I think they've been betting it for a while, but it seems like they're just on the road out to most of the the. I would, I would consider myself a smaller creator. So let's talk about the smaller creators. Like, we just starting to get it. But I don't know, man. It kind of goes back to, like, what we just said about YouTube. Like, it looks like TikTok is trying very hard to figure out how not to pay us directly. Yo, but they're man, giving you right. these opportunities to make money off the audience that they'll give you. Which, I, it's like, it's hard to complain about it because, like, well, they are giving you the audience pretty quickly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you use it correctly. Like, it's like, I, it makes me think, like, man, how fast could I build up? 3,000 subscribers on TikTok, right? How fast could I build this to seven to 10 bands a month off of just a subscriber base? But I know what they want me to do and they want me to live stream on that shit every day for probably a couple hours a day. And that's the part I don't know if I have it in me to do yet. You know what I'm saying? That's the part that I don't know if I have that work ethic in me to live stream like a I true mean, live streamer. That has to, that's the whole <laughs> business model. That's the thing. If yeah. that's not a part of your business model, it don't make sense. Yeah. And that's, that's the problem with it. So it's great for people who, truly want to do that um i'm sure a lot of people are gonna make really good money yeah, off great of money. that yeah. so i can imagine myself man if i was in that space i'd be live streaming on tiktok youtube <laughs> twitch yeah. all at the same time talking to them <laughs> like, all right who gonna give me the most money i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to y'all over here hey, they ain't about no money bro they ain't tipping good enough yeah <laughs> <laughs> shut it off man y'all come over to youtube so i i could see why it'll be beneficial for creators who want to put that that work in the problem is, I feel like it's minimal for many artists. All right, we already talked about before, TikTok Live is a great opportunity still to get discovered and do some really cool things. And we know many artists that are making good money from just going live and getting those badges alone. Yeah. So I wonder, would that be $5? What, whatever your subscription price uh, pay yeah, So far, is. you don't get to change the subscription price. It's just- Well, uh, I'm saying like, but your subscription price, but then you're also making money on top of that with stickers like would it eliminate stickers no like, so yeah so that change yeah so all that stuff like all the regular live stuff still applies so okay. the the um the badges are just for or the subscriptions are just for a way for you to almost show it's like the equivalent to the super fan feature on on, on or super chat or super fan feature on youtube right or, or like 
the subscribers on Twitch, like, hey, I'm still a part of your regular viewers on your lives. I just now get a badge and I can use your emotes. And I pretty much I get to stand out in your fan base. So you still get your sticker donations. Um, the, I know one of the differences they talk about is like your subscribers get a separate chat in yeah. your in your live. So like you can see like your subscriber chat and then like your regular live chat. You can still get donations from all of them. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, y'all, y'all can't see this, but I had to rig the light over Ja'Cory. And it's slowly about to fall, bro. So if you could catch that before, bro, the light. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, what? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> it should be cool, though. Like, let's let's just hope it stays right. Let's let's see if the light changes on them. Oh, God. All right. Ja'Cory, gonna look, it's going to look a little bit darker, bro. You might have to come closer to the table. Yeah, you know what I mean? We're, we're, you know, had to rig the light last second. But, you know, Ja'Cory looked a little bit better. You know, the whole background is a little bit better quality and everything than the other episodes. So, uh. Yeah, bro. I was hoping you were gonna catch that. Because <laughs> I thought you were talking about that one. I didn't no. even realize that shit was, was right there. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. You know, the rig, the rig has to happen sometimes. It'll be better next week. <laughs> All right, well, with that being said, though, like TikTok with the uh, with the lives, I think. I mean, YouTube's going crazy with lives. TikTok's going crazy with lives. Um, who else? Twitch. Uh, obviously, Twitch, yeah. Instagram has the subscriptions. They're not going crazy with lies, but they yeah, are going. They, they got the badges you can buy. They got the badges you can buy. So obviously, it's a huge opportunity for all these platforms. They see it. They yeah. want to make it happen. Yeah. One thing that artists have to do is make sure they don't get caught up in all these opportunities, because this is why. I don't like doing videos on all these random tools, right? Where people are like, oh, here's an, a new tool where you can build your audience faster. And then here's a new tool. And every week they're talking about a new way you can use gated downloads or a uh, certain playlist or uh, the, the what do you call it? The private groups where you join. Uh, like the Telegram group thing. Yeah. And they all, all like each other's stuff. I, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I know what they're called, but yeah. it's, it's, it's leaving my mind for Engagement a second. Engagement pods. Engagement pods, things yeah. like that, right? Because you, if you get caught up in all these different things, you're just chasing, you're chasing, you're chasing, and you're never really getting a chance to have a strategy that you can stand on, yeah. which is why a lot of those big YouTubers also don't just get caught up in new platforms because I'm like, I'm winning, I'm killing it, I'm dominating something. And do I do want to take advantage and figure out how to grow and add more, but it has to be worth it. But if you're always chasing each of these tools that really aren't going to change the game for you, right? Unless you invest in them and make it a significant part of your strategy, you'll just be running around like a chicken with your head cut off and year over year, you untried 20 tools and you're not that much further along, mm -hmm. right? Where there, we know that there's artists who are winning without using pre-saves, which, hey, we've had massive success using pre-saves yeah. without using influencers, but we've had massive success using uh, influencers without using some things like the, 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 what do you call it? the like the toned in links all these different things right they're just tools and they have to have a consistent space in place within your strategy and having all these opportunities sounds good that tiktok does subscriptions oh i can make money on tiktok now and i can make money through you know uh youtube subscriptions and pay uh instagram all that stuff sounds good but you can get lost in a sauce like you can't have subscribers paying on all these multiple platforms yeah right so yeah. That pl that opportunity isn't as big as it looks, and I think all of them know. Like we're playing this game, and we're trying to win, and figure out which one of us are going to win in terms of the paid subscription socials that people yeah. will be willing to do. That's literally what it feels like. Battle of the, the subscription model. Battle. <laughs> it's a battle for real. It's it's for real. So you don't want to make. That's why you also have to watch right the boat that you're in. Yeah. Because some people might end up dedicating themselves to a model that won't be there. Next thing you know, oh, YouTube, yeah, we're actually sunsetting our program. So this will be the last year or uh, last six months that we're running subscriptions. Um, thank you guys. Yeah, subscribers, you know, goodbye. Well, yeah, but <laughs> we're moving on. We found better ways to serve our creators. You know, it's gonna be flipped like that. And you just built your whole business, right? And, and one that's not gonna exist anymore. Yeah. So now you're like, dang, I should have built it on TikTok. So, that's why it's important these conversations and things that we talk about it's like because it's not just oh can you do good but you got to do good on the right ship because if that ship ain't around anymore then it's like dang you just wasted a lot of effort yeah all right so that's something to pay attention to these are great opportunities 
but which opportunity is the one to take advantage of and appreciate you watching fun fact every time you soak up one of these gems you get a little bit smarter from these clips so if you want to be a gem seeker collect all the gems keep watching i'll see you in the next clip